to my channel and look to the side and visit my friends. Uh, they do some really good reviews. And check them out. You'll definitely love them. Alright, on my Facebook, go to photos right here. And then click down. You have like the, the year, 2012 um, release reviews. You know, it's all these, there's a whole bunch of them actually base on the year that they actually came out. And then you click on it, pick on the folder. And on the year that you picked on it comes out, and then just click on these, and then it has a picture that you wanted, and over here is a link. Just click on it, opens up a new window, and then a review pops up right here, supposedly. No commercials on my own page. So yeah, that's how you check out other reviews. Hello everyone, Esperin here, coming 101, doing my 200 review, and I get to show you. My two favorite villains, Slash and Baxter Stockman. They look the same to you, but let me explain why they're different. So I hope this review is pretty good for you. We are going to start off with Baxter Stockman. And as you can see, you probably think that, well, there's two same toys, just different weapons, and that is wrong because they are different. All right, for example, yes. They're five swords of different colors. You got the blue and the rose kind of color. Over here, as you can see, this batch of stockman over here is more of, of a pure plastic, shinier kind of look to it. As you can see, see it's a lot more shinier and prettier. Like uh, this one over here is plastic, but it has more of that rubber kind of like to it. As you can see what it's like. Over here. This back to Stockman, the purple is a lot darker, just like the blue is a lot darker, and his hair is a lot more darker, and it sticks out a lot more. Can you see that? Over here, uh, the colors of the purple and blue and the red is a lot more lighter. Right, you can see it like this. See that? Over here. Only that the hair is a lot smaller, shorter compared to the hair over here. To add more to it, the look at the the jacket, the um, the laboratory jacket. As you can see, it's a lot whiter. See, it's bright like a bleach kind of color. This one's the same thing, but it has that grayish kind of color to it. To add on to that is they're gray, like the rib part right here. See how it's so so thin, the rib part, and the thin part on this side of his side of his shoulder, and the needle part is like it's like a like a light lightish kind of gray color. Over here, the rib part is a lot more thicker, and the needle part is, is has like dark gray color, and you can see more of the rib part on the side of his uh, shoulder part. Uh, so that's how you look to tell. And let's see, 1989 Morishima Playmates toy. Then you see the little um, filling right there. It's because it's supposed to say made in or yeah, it's supposed to say like made in China or made in other country. What I showed you, I could never pronounce. And I guess they don't want them to know where it's made in. So therefore, we made. In 1989, Morgan Street and Playmates toys would know none of that gap. And as you see, his little tail, his little blue veins, flight-like. When you buy the Baxter Stockman for the first time, your, the wings will not be attached, so you have to attach it yourself, as you can see from right there. And of course, the hand moves up, just like the other piece. And, ah, of course, the wings move, too. And as for this one, it's the same thing, like the purple is barely there. See, how's, how's that purple like that? It's barely hanging on there, it's really fainted kind of purple color. So, see? I don't know if you can see from the camera, see how like, oh you have that little vein purple thing? Compared to that, it's really faint kind of like. And like I said, there's um, these are the 89 ones. Believe it or not, people, this is not the original Baxter Stockman. There is a 1988, like from the original Turtles, a 1988 
that comes with a pop-up display, like a different kind of background for it to use. And they both have the fly swatter, different colors, and of course, once again, <coughs> this is worth a lot more money. This is the rarest one. Everyone has this one, I'm pretty sure. But if you ha have this one, take good care of it, people. Seriously. Uh, there's also a 1992, but it only comes with the blue swatter, the blue one. And there's also a 1994 blue swatter. So, which one do you guys have? Which one do you own? Did you know about this piece right here? Or did you not know there was an 88 one? I'm still looking for it. So, like I said, this is not a complete set. Just because you have a, a blue fly swatter and a red fly swatter, there's different years out there. So, which year do you guys own out there? Put your comments on that one. Um, no matter what, any any of the years, so the, like the 88 and 89 one, once again, I said again that this is the rare one. This is going to be the expensive one. So hopefully somebody out there nice enough at a toy store will sell this for cheap for you guys. I don't know. I'm pretty sure if it's on the package, it's going to be like over 100 bucks. Seriously, people. Because that's the way I came across. And this is the rarest one. So you'll get this for cheap, but this is going to be the most expensive one, I said. Okay, so now we move to Splash. All right, so the Slash part, you can actually can see the difference already with these guys. Here's the original look to it. See, it's his um, chest. It's like that mustard kind of color. Really dark yellow. Uh, somebody give this to me. I have the Nars Slash at home. Uh, he's supposed to have arm piece right here. Here's his back piece. As you can see, he's a lot darker green, kind of jungle green color. Let me show you this because there's also a 25th anniversary one. And I can see 1990. We're going to see the play with toys. The belt is a real pain in the butt to put on if it comes off. Here's the other slash. You can tell the difference with the yellow part. is Actually, this is like a bright neon yellow color. And both of them have the black belt with a yellow S. And for this one, I'll show you this. And the belt came off. Crap. 1990 Morgan Studio playing with toys. See, this is how the belt works. <laughs> Instead of on the L part like the turtles, it's in the end part. And you have to go over the spiky shell. So it's not really easy to put on. So we have, we'll do that later. I'll put it on later. And of course, my favorite, the more rarest one of all the slashes one. Yes, he has the yellow chest. Yes, he's a lot lighter than that one. And once again, this color is still has a little bit of brighter, has a little blue into it, but it's a jungle green color. And yes, the purple belt with the red S. As you can see, and oh my god, I have to show you this one. Let's see. 1990. Well, we should do Playmates toys. I should have done it a little bit nicer. So, those are the three. There's one more um, slash besides the 25th anniversary one. There's a red, uh, purple belt with uh, like a, um, what do you call it, a yellow S in it. So there's another one out there, people. And those of you who are out there who are like, ah, oh, well, tell me more about them, sir. Okay, I shall tell you. There's a black belt, a yellow S, mustard belly, the front of the 90s. And that's, that's going to be the cheapest one out there. Uh, purple belt with the red S. <laughs> uh, brush yellow. That's what this is right here. And that's going to be expensive. At least around like 30 bucks, 20, or no, 30 bucks to 40 bucks, which I came across. A uh, purple belt or with the red S, of course. Uh, same thing. And if it's in the box, it's going to be up to like 80 bucks out there. It's going to be one of the expensive one. This is the expensive one, but luckily I found it for cheap. Yay! Uh, do, do, do. I have it written down. Uh, purple belt with the, uh, let's see, red S, la la la. Purple belt with a yellow S. And it has the same color, like, you know, the bright color or yellow right there. And it's loose. That was going to be a little bit expensive, too. It's up to 50 bucks. Purple belt with a yellow S, mustard belly, which that one is over here. So there's a purple belt with this kind of color of the yellow in front. And that's up to $29, going to 30 bucks. Purple belt with the yellow S. And if it's like in a box, it's going to be like 50 bucks. So, yes, everyone has the, the 
the black one, and that's what the toys for 20th anniversary is going for, is a black belt only. But with this one, um, this is an expensive one. Anything with a purple belt is going to be an expensive one, but if you get the one with the red S, it's the highest one out there, because it's the one original color for the purple colors, because they couldn't see the S, so they like, well, let's put a yellow in it. So, that's my little review on Slash. I love Slash a lot. And he hopefully be in a new uh, series. He's also in an IDW series. If you didn't know about that, oops, sorry. And those are his weapons. Typical movements, da la la. See like that. Head moves like that. Arms, legs moves. Toe does not move, so don't worry about that. The, this piece is a little bit of rubber. If you know anything, anything different, if, you, if I did not explain anything that you already have and I didn't put on my paper, feel free to put on a comment so I can add on to my paper. Um, so, put your comments down. Which one do you like to look better? Do you like the purple S? like the dark color? Do you like the, look, the little dark mustard look to it? Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about the Baxter Softman. This is my 2000 review, or 2000, <laughs> 200 review people so thank you for your support all right so that's my little review on Baxter Stockman and Slash uh, I hope my review helped you a lot for you collectors out there so you know what's out there to collect uh, just because you got one doesn't mean there's another version out there I was going to do Scumbug and uh, Napoleon Bullfrog but since this review is taking forever it's going to be pretty long I'll do it in the next review, and I'll do my comp more comparison this time, so you can see more difference just like I did with these ones. Check out my old reviews, and um, check out, well, since it's November, and Thanksgiving is coming out. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Uh, don't drive too drunk on a road, because I know somebody will out there. And the other thing is, um, since it's the end of, of November, I'll be working on my season... 13 since this is the end of season 12 so thank you everyone for your support thank you so much and i want to uh, tell you i'm going to work more on my review hopefully i can find a job and i can buy more turtle toys and we know so on and so on and so on so if you're hiring hire me <laughs> you already know what I'm, what I'm capable of with comic book stores whatever i am the guy so anyways Get these collections, get them all, get, get as much as you can. If you notice anything different, put your comments down, and happy hunting, everyone. See you later. Alright, so an eBay villain, or maybe this guy is just completely confused. This guy is selling Scumbug, not the rare version, the blue boot only, without his jaw, so he's broken, people. Yeah, it's cool that you know the name, but if he has no jaw, and no weapons, he's not worth $10. Once again, here's the guy. What do you guys think? Put your comments on the bottom, guys.